Okay, so I just got back from date number one. Yes, I survived. It went great, actually. I am sure he is going to be calling me, probably tomorrow, maybe even tonight, unless what I asked annoyed him somehow or pissed him off. But when a guy doesn't talk for the last 30 minutes of the date, it just means that he's really into you, right? Oh, crap. <laughs> Okay, so maybe it didn't go that well after all, now that I think about it. So, thanks for coming out with me tonight. No, of course. Um, I have to admit, it's, it, it's not often that a girl asks me out. Well, I just want you to know, this is my first date in five years. Oh, okay. Uh, been in a relationship? No, just not really been interested in dating. I'd rather stay home and play with my cats than go on dates. But at the same time, I'm also very lonely, so... I made this deal with my cousin that I'd force myself to go out and talk to people. Not that I um, had to force myself to talk to you, but you are date number one for the sake of full disclosure. Alrighty then. Uh, thank you for the full disclosure. So I guess we ask each other questions now. Yes, let's do that. Um, how, many, how many cats do you have? Three. How many people have you slept with? Uh, is everything all right here? Yeah. Everything's fine. Are the lights too bright? Because, you know, we can tone down the lights. We can tone it down. Make it more comfortable for everyone. That was odd. No, sorry about what I was saying. I was getting too personal. No, no, that's okay. But I think those conversations are supposed to happen, you know, further on down the road, like date 15. You're not having a good time, are you? No. I, I mean, yes, but let's just, you know, slow it down a little bit. I'm a rude little bitch. Oh, uh, no. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I'm just new and anxious. And I want to know how many women you've slept with now instead of on date 15, because if on date 15 I find out that you've been with 100 women, I'm not going to be interested. And all those prior dates will have been a waste of time and money, because what if those 100 women have slept with 100 men? That's like 10,000 people mixing bodily fluids. And of course, those men probably would have slept around too. And before you know it, your insides have turned into a cesspool of STDs. Care for some dessert? Um, no. That's okay. And the knight never really recovered. He was nice enough to stick around and finish his beef brisket, but I knew he was just being polite. So, lesson learned. Don't ask the partner question on the first date. But when, or does it even matter? Let me know in a comment. Until next Saturday, I'm gonna go cry in my bathtub. Okay, last week I asked you guys for some dating advice, and Cookie Monster 1111 says, get the cat pole out of the bedroom. To that, I say no, the cat pole stays, because if I take it out of here, Javier is going to throw up and cry for days. A Blanche, she wrote, guys will marry you if you put out on the first date. How's that for a surefire plan? Well, a Blanche, that does seem like a good plan, but how much should I put out? Should I pay for the whole thing or, or provide just a tip? Jim, W925, wrote, when she's 60, she'll have 500 cats stuffed into a house of newspapers and filth, LOL. You know, I don't think that there will be newspapers when I'm 60. I know, artsy fashion and Ms. Bin 74. Can you believe Matt doesn't want me to talk about Harry Potter? What he didn't tell you is that he met his wife at a Quidditch tournament. <laughs>